Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will talk about engagement streak analysis. If you are in digital marketing or if you are in employee engagement, you have probably exhausted all of the basic insight you can gather from looking at impressions, engagements, and conversions, and you're ready to level up and try to provide a more qualitative analysis for the patterns of user engagement. If that's correct, if that's what you're interested in, then this video is for you. In this video first, we will talk about the Power BI side of things. We will take a look at the model and we will take a look at the DEX calculation. And then in the later half of the video, we will talk about the reporting use cases of how you might use streak analysis to gain some insight as to how effective are your campaigns. Okay, so now that I made myself a little smaller, we have a little bit more room to analyze what's going on. So let's take a look at our data model and at our beautiful star schema. So here we have just four tables. We have a campaign table. Campaign table has campaign and also campaign type. In our imaginary world, the campaigns are delivered via two channels, Microsoft Teams or email. We have our, our activity that has the log of every single end user interaction. We have the end user table and also we have a date table. Now let's take a look at the activity table just to make sure that we can understand how everything works. So the date table has the activity table rather has the date column, user column, so we know who the user is, campaign column, and then has engaged. That's an important column that tells us whether the user has engaged with our ad or nudge or message or has not. Okay, this is the heart of the calculation. So the most important calculation here is last streak, and that calculation allows us to find the length of the last streak if we know the date. So for this measure to work, we need to know who the user is, what the campaign number is, and relative to what date we're calculating the length of the latest streak. So if I have those three things, the way the logic works is I'm gonna create another variable called last streak start date, and I'm gonna find what that last streak start date is. In order for me to do that, I'm gonna take a look at activity table, remove all filters and put the new filters on it to make sure that I'm only looking at the user and the campaign that I'm already specifying. And I'm, all, I'm looking at the latest record where user has not engaged. So I'm looking at has, not enga has engaged false and I'm looking at the date of that record. And then I'm gonna find the latest or the maximum record so that I know when that streak started. When that's done, I have all four things to calculate the streak duration because I know the start of the streak, I know the last date, so the end of my analysis. I also know the user and the campaign. So if I apply those filters, activity user, campaign, date before current date, date after the start of the streak and has engaged is true. If I count rows, calculate how many messages or um, how many ads or other nudges I sent to the user, I could figure out how what my streak is and I'm gonna, I'm gonna return it. And that last streak variable or calculation literally is the most important piece of this video. Now let's see if this calculation actually works. To do that, we're gonna start our with our activity table. Uh, we're gonna use the evaluate command so that we can run the query, attach, create a new column called streak, calculate the last streak for that record. So we're gonna calculate the last streak for every row in our activity table. Let's order it by user campaign and date so we can see sequentially what's happening with the streak. So basically what we would expect with every successful interaction, the streak should increment and then it gotta get reset every time we have a false interaction. So let's see what happens. The first one user did not engage, streak is nothing. Then engagement one, then you have two engagement so it goes up to three, another engagement gets to four, then we have a fall, so it stays in four, and after that it falls back to one and it resets itself. So it looks like our logic is working perfectly. And now that I can calculate streak for every record and activity, all I need to do is add two measures that we will actually be using in our report. Number one is max streak. So that allows me to understand for a given user campaign, or all of the users in campaigns, what was the longest streak? How many times did user consecutively engage with my campaign? And also maybe I wanna do average streak analysis. So to see on average, how many times repeatedly users engage with my content. And now that we're done with DEX 
in the data modeling part, let's see how we might use this calculation on a report. So here on this report, we always have to use the show the basics. So the basic stuff, impressions, engagements, the trend, we also highlight maximum and average streaks, and we see a stark difference between average and maximum. And then let's take a look at how we might use streaks to understand our campaigns. So here in this visual at the bottom left, we are looking at uh, a scatter plot of all of our campaigns. In the X axis, we're uh, showing impressions. So basically how many times we've, we've sent an engagement and then uh, an on the y-axis, we are going to show how many, um, what the average streak is. And what we see is two distinct clusters. We see a yellow cluster of campaigns that we sent using Microsoft Teams, and we have a blue cluster of campaigns that we sent using Microsoft, using email. And we see that Teams-based uh, campaigns tend to have longer average streak. So that tells us that user is uh, is more likely to engage on a consecutive basis uh, in our Microsoft Teams campaigns versus email campaigns. And then if you're going to take a look at all of the campaigns and all of the users, I've created a heat map here. So that helps you understand outliers by user by campaign, which users like which types of campaigns and which users and which types of users tend to not engage as regularly with certain campaigns. So uh, as you add more attributes both to users and campaigns, you might get some really interesting insight from looking at the things uh, as a heat map. So this is a topic where I could spend quite a bit more time going into the all of the intricacies of streak analysis and how you might visualize it on your report or dashboard. But uh, for the sake of making this video a little bit not as long, uh, I will wrap up here. If you, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And then if you have any questions or if you have any ideas for future videos, you can get in touch with us by going to www.obvians.com contact. For additional details on the calculation, you can visit our blog. The link will be in the description of this video. Thank you. Bye.